Hello guys, my name is Shailesh Kadam and in this tutorial I will show you how to install OSGO Live. So first of all you have to go in link uh, in the description and I gave link in description just click on that that is live.osgo.org so in here you can see uh, this is a download page of that operating system and we will install this operating system in virtual box so I will give link another link in description and in here you can download Oracle virtual box so first in here you have to download ISO file or any VM file to install in virtual box so first of all just go this HTTPS uh, source for .net link it will redirect to you uh, in another website so in here you can see there are uh, some versions of this op operating system so I will just go with for this tutorial it's uh, OSGO live dash 11.0 vm dot 7 zip this file so you can also check this uh, other because it will also work uh, it is i386 dot iso file you can also download this and check you can you can also check this out amd64 so i will just go with this oio dot uh, dash live so in here it will just download it is 3.0 GB I think yes, uh, it is 3.0 GB so in here you have to download this yes it is 3, 3 GB so just save file this and download it so after download this file I will be right back so our uh, file is uh, downloaded so uh, we get this 7 zip file just right click on it and extract it so just extract to as you file folder and it will take some time so just be patient So our file is successfully extracted. Just go open this folder. Just like so, open that folder, and in here you can see we have dot vmdk file. So what we have to do is uh, you have to down also download the virtual box. I already downloaded it and installed click on uh, let me cancel this so in here you can see there are multiple options like you have to choose your select your regarding your operating system so you have to select uh, what type of operating system you, uh, you are currently running on so in here you can see there is Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora so here also windows or uh, if you have max then you can just go with that option i have windows so i i can simply click on windows installer and uh, in here uh, this is n108 mba software so just click and download it i already installed it just minimize it so what we have to do is uh, open this software And just click on new. I already installed centers. Just don't bother about it. Just click on new, 
and it will ask what operating system name you have to give so i will just go with os live uh, this is our version is 11.0 so i will just go with that and this is a linux distribution just uh, make sure that you have selected linux and version of this is ubuntu 64 bit so this computer also 64 bit just select ubuntu 64 bit and click on next and in here you have to select how much memory you want to give i have 4 gb ram you can see here 4 gb ram so you have to select uh, some amount of memory if you using this software for general purpose i will just recommend it to you to just give uh, minimum i will just go with one one or two four because i am just showing this tutorial for this tutorial just click on next you should and uh, also remember that you should uh, do not exceed this uh, in don't give the uh, memory size in this trend lines because it will uh, lag your computer so you can not use properly your operating system just simply give minimum uh, amount of memory and not so uh, minimum uh, it should uh, uh, maybe 1 GB or 2 GB if you have uh, 8 GB of RAM or uh, more than that so you can just give uh, large number uh, large amount of memory if you want just click on next and in here you have to select uh, do you want to create virtual hard drive so we have a dot vmdk file so we have to select just use an existing virtual hard disk and we will just select just click on that this file option and we will select that we have just we have our folder is extractor folder is on desktop and click on OH your live and select this file so just select and open it now you can see here is our file is selected now just go with create so it will just create a hard drive for our OSG live and now our uh, operating system is set up so what we have to do is uh, before starting our operating system you have to just set up some settings just go with uh, click on option setting it will pop up a window and in general we are uh, in advance uh, share clipboard is bi-directional select it and nothing uh, in here we have the system motherboard uh, leave it as it is and in here if you have eight process eight CPUs like uh, I have only four CPUs you can just go with a uh, uh, two or four if you have eight uh, I have only four CPUs uh, then I will just go with a uh, one because it will lag otherwise because if I give my uh, half of memory uh, half of processors to the virtual operating system and half of the uh, processor to my uh, real operating system just uh, make sure that all these bars are in green uh, green section so it will not lag your operating system and in here you have to select uh, in display you have to select video memory just select maximum you can select it so i will just, i have 128 mb so i will just select 128 mb and in here the storage nothing we have to do here so all are perfect just click on ok and our setting is saved so you can here you can also see our settings about this operating system this is my saint os also there is settings so uh, this video is about os geo live so in here uh, our video memory is 128 and remote desktop server all these stuff so just click on the this green arrow that is start and it will boot 
uh, us into a operating system so this is uh, starting or this PC is lagging some this is a menu uh, minimizing uh, this Well, our operating system is booting in. Just wait for it. It takes some time. Now, our uh, operating system is booting in. So, this is the first window. Uh, here, our welcome page is. You can read this. Okay, welcome to HGO Live. See the road sign help icon. So there is a, it's a quick tutorial if you don't know something. So here also should SU enter user as password. So you should read this and just click on OK. Now let's go with this thing now. Host F. That is in my case host is Alt. F. So this is our uh, first window of of OSU. So this is our school wallpaper. So in our in here our operating system is boot successfully. So it's like a Windows Start button. And well, you can just check this out this uh, options and there also my mother firefox so that's it for today now thank you for watching see you soon